you're excited you just completed designing your 2d logo it looks stunning you jumped into photo p you want to change it to a 3d logo you add it on there and you can find it when you want to convert it to a smart object and now you have a little bit of a problem you're frustrated you log on on youtube you're trying to find a solution you found one of my videos i'm hoping this video is going to help troubleshoot the steps that you take in order for you to get to converting to 3d so the only thing that i'm asking you is to calm down troubleshoot your steps it works let's jump in on photo p and do this when you get to photo p you have a choice of opening your psd file from computer or using the psd templates that photo p has uploaded for us so let's first start with opening a psd file from our own computer so you go and you find wherever you've saved your psd file you double click on that it loads most of the time people would then jump in and go and want to save as smart object immediately you will not find save a smart object because you have skipped a step and most of the time it's when you've skipped a step that you won't find what you need so if you've loaded your psd file or your mock-up you need to first start by double clicking where it says your logo here so most of the designers will guide you and tell you what to do and then the next step would be to hide the example that they've loaded for us over there with this eye you just click on the eye to hide the step then you would add your own logo your 2d you drag it from wherever and you size it and once it's added on you're gonna go file save a smart object you see now save a smart object is available because there is an object to be saved or you could click on Control s or command s it does exactly the same thing and you wait and the system will tell you that the smart object has been updated then you would go back or click where it says free be simple or that is your mock-up you click once over there and you also wait and then your 3d logo is converted stunning it looks the way that it looks so let me show you a second way of doing this from photo p if you are using a template that's loaded already on the software you're gonna click on PSD templates you're gonna go to mockups and you're gonna look for a mockup that you would like to use for your design so there's a couple of them there's even animated mockups that have been loaded for us there so this one looks quite nice let's click on this one you click on it once and it opens up this and you would select where it said photop.com hashtag this link you click on it once and you wait then your mock-up gets loaded see the designer on the right hand side has given us layers or they've used layers to design this mock-up so you are just focused on where it says your logo here and you would click on the checkered box in order for you to access where you can place your logo so you double click where it says your logo here and then it opens up the place where you can upload your 2d logo then you hide the example that they've loaded for us there by clicking on the eye and then you have the canvas available for you here when you place your logo if you have not made it a transparent background it cannot must tend to a 3d logo if you've left it as a 2d it's going to convert to a 2d logo but it won't have that 3d effect because you have not taken off the black or the white background so you need to use tools like remove.bg photo p also removes background um canva removes background as well so you need to remove your background 
before you want to convert to 3d 3d means it's a three-dimensional if you leave it as a two-dimensional it will stay as a two-dimensional but you will still see the file save as smart object because there is an object to be saved that's why if you don't have save a smart object there's no object to be saved as a smart object so we're gonna go ahead and turn this one to a smart object and it's updated and then we click or we go back to our psd file just so you see how it looks like you see it stays as a 2d logo because it, it you you have not taken off the background for the system to take it off and convert it to a 3d so let's quickly run through this one more time this video has added value to your life please smash the like button if you're still struggling let me know i am on all the socials as len with za and last thing i'm busy creating a course where we're gonna talk in depth with design using canva and photopea there's one section that's dedicated to logos and how to design logos from beginning to using graphics etc so head over to my website lenwithza.com Leave your email address for me there so that I'll let you know when the course is ready for you to enjoy. Thank you. I will see you on the next video.